The United Nations estimates half the world's fisheries are overfished. The activities of unlicensed trawlers adds to the crisis. The problem of illegal fishing is enormously widespread. We've had estimates that assess the problem at around 20% of uh, the global catch. Illegal trawlers typically don't respect breeding grounds, pay no license fees and ignore fishing quotas. Tell him it is very good for him now to, to do whatever we want. This fishing vessel is under arrest for fishing without a license. Today, Earth Report investigates fishing off the west coast of Africa. Nobody would want to be stuck on this boat. And examines claims that millions of dollars of illegally caught fish are smuggled into Europe. Trawlers have been flocking to the coast of West Africa, one of the world's richest fishing grounds. They've come from most major fishing nations in the world, competing to supply a seemingly insatiable global demand for fish. Some are legitimate, but officials estimate up to 50% may not be. Over the course of a month, environmental campaigners set out to learn more about some of the tactics used in this illegal trade. 16 nautical miles off the coast of Guinea, an extraordinary vision in the most unlikely of places. It was a graveyard of abandoned trawlers, or at least that's how it appeared. But far from it. Each hulk had one or two Chinese crew on board waiting to play their part. In a world where boats are expected to fish 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, these were backup vessels, ships waiting to be cannibalized for spare parts. Meanwhile, they offered temporary accommodation for backup crews. Many had no idea how long they would be on board. Some of them are at sea for two years without ever going back to land. They don't know when they're going to be paid or how much they're going to be paid. Every three months, new supplies would arrive. Xu Quinn was the first mate. With a broken ship's engine, he was not happy. Nobody would want to be stuck on this boat. He had no safety gear, no way to contact the outside world. Xu Quinn did not even know how much he would be paid, perhaps about $3,000 a year. Getting home to his wife and small daughter, who he had only seen twice in five years, seemed a distant dream. <laughs> 